When I interviewed here, I just knew it was the place I had to be. First of all, I liked the city, and this was a smaller town feel. I really liked the feel of the Department of Neurology. I liked the chairman, Dr. Swift. Everybody I met I liked. It was a calling to come here, and so I've, I've never really seriously thought of leaving. NCG is Georgia's only public medical school, and that's a tremendously important responsibility. We believe that we are responsible not just for generating the workforce that will serve the health care needs of Georgians in the future, but also for addressing some of the shortages in physicians in underserved areas across the state. The medical education has always been the strength of this place with a lot of clinical opportunity, great clinical training, and it's even been enhanced with our regional campus model. The statewide model, I think, is excellent because you get a little bit of both. You get a little bit of the academic, or a lot if you so choose, or if you'd like to go out and see how a more rural area practices or outside of a tertiary care center and private practice, you can go elsewhere. With our regional campus model, creating more residencies around the state, we're able to actually even contemplate doing a three-year medical school with this 3 plus 3 program. In the modern era, we're trying to redesign our curriculum to make it even more exciting and more relevant to our students and to the practices that they'll eventually join. At this juncture, we're planning a curriculum that would have a three-year core educational experience, following which the students can go into primary care practice residency programs directly. If the students choose to, they can have a flexible fourth year, a jump start, that basically allows them to refine their readiness for residency programs, complete a dual degree, or go into primary care practice residency programs directly. I think there's tremendous excitement amongst the educators here, amongst our faculty to do that. I think we'll be as innovative as any medical school in the country. We're also a large medical school, and we're in a state which, which needs doctors, so you know, it, it couldn't be better. The caliber of the medical students here is phenomenal. You know, a lot of us that are engaged in research are really fortunate that we get to work with the medical students. I think a, a really neat strength here is that a lot of the faculty that are in, engaged in medical education also have a background in research. So they're not only you know, familiar with the material that they're teaching to the medical students, but they know about the current advances. The culture here is a collaborative culture. You know, it's a culture where we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be great educators, but we're gonna focus on research. I think the, the collaborations that I've been able to establish here have absolutely advanced my own research, um, and I don't know that I would have that same connection at another institution. You know, we're unique, I, I think, nationally, because we're a very collaborative environment, and if you look at team-based science, you know, we really rely on each other's success. We submit grants and papers together, and I think this is a great environment for team-based science. There's a host of world-class research that takes place on the campus, but it's not so big that you're an island within your department. So there's a lot of interaction that happens between the basic science departments, with the clinical departments, and that's something I think that's pretty unique about this campus that really makes for an exciting research environment. What an incredible medical community we have here. All of the interns and residents and attending physicians that I've worked with have been incredible to the students, incredible to their patients. I mean, this, this really is a world-class healthcare system where physicians practice patient-centered care every day. We have um, a very innovative uh, health system uh, that is not afraid uh, to actually push boundaries and uh, that is adjusting actively to a rapidly changing healthcare environment and is not afraid to do so. So MCG has uh, what I define as an existential imperative. Uh, it serves a very large population, and basically what we call the other Georgia. Outside Atlanta is uh, our neck of the woods. And uh, we have a very well-defined mission in terms of uh, why we're here and which patients we take care of. I think the thing that makes MCG a premier place to be is the people that are here. It's our faculty, it's our staff, it's our administration. We all have the same purpose of educating the next generation, um, and, and I feel that. I mean, you, a lot of people can say that, like what their mission is, but I do feel that here at this university. The state's only public medical school has a mission to serve the people of the state. They have a unique mission to not only identify 
the needs of the state that can be fulfilled by the graduates they create, they have a commitment to meet those needs.